Voila! What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Miss Kiselu. So yes, today we're going to be cooking broiler chicken. I'm gonna be showing you how I do it my way. Broiler stew. Yes, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment and share. Let's do these delicacies. You know how I you have do my it? white onion and my red onion, rather I'm the purple one for the Kenyans. It's just my knife, sorry. These are, these are my carrots because we are cooking rice and we have to like have the carrots. I, I prefer using them in the stew. Here are my tomatoes or rather nyanya and today I never blended them. I prefer using them like that. And uh, here we have my green bell pepper and my coriander over here. Then over here is where we have our muji muji. See, forgive the steam. It's already marinated and uh, I want it to like dry a bit so that we can make it dry. We're gonna be adding the carrot and the tungu. Allow me to do this because I'm alone. See? I'm gonna play play with them with the heat. I'm gonna reduce it. gonna be stirring minimize my heat you see it's already golden meaning actually it will be so sweet because I like fried it first in the oil mmm then with Fonica oh look at that drumstick damn in fact my meat in my pavilion is like an attack. See, colorful. Yes, so we're gonna like do low heat on the meat as we wait for the. We need to quiver the carrots. And we for Nika, I've already, I've already added some uh, regular cube, the chicken one. Yeah, so we for Nika, we wait for the nyanya to get like ripe, kabisa. And actually, uh, uh, covering your sophoria, as you wait for your nyanya to to become soft or rather weze kubonda vizuri, it is usually also advisable like to cover your sophoria because I think I, I had like when you steam the nyanya, acidity is like kind of reduced. I don't know, but it's a new hack. I tried and it worked. Yeah, so yeah, tomatoes well wait. cooked. I've just added some soup. I want the, the chicken like to boil. I'm not adding any spices because the chicken was already spiced. So the spices have like marinated themselves. Even like when you eat the chicken from the inside, you will feel the taste of spices. So I'm waiting for it to boil a little bit. Then I add uh, the green bell pepper just right over there. So yes, we're gonna cover. We cover the chicken. Let it simmer. Green bell pepper inside i don't like it like a lot of uh, being a um, very crunchy actually so i want it to cook a bit so i'm adding it and yeah you can see like my chicken is well 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 cooked and i'm cooking like this because this is rice stew if it were like a uh, ugali i would have been done long time ago and so we add and then we stir. See how my stew is colorful. Yeah. And we cover a bit so that we can add like you see it's already thick. It's thick. The stew is thick. Yeah. We let it cook a bit. I'm not going to cover actually. I'm just gonna give it time. The heat. Now we're gonna be adding this special ingredient. Yes, it's very sweet, makes the stew sweet. So we're gonna add oh smells nice. It's the nor 
natural is on and look you can look for it from the supermarket yeah the mister it has some natural salt so the, if there was no salt in the stew it has done its work yes my green pepper is already like cooked the way i want it so we add coriander and it's a lot <laughs> but i like it this way so don't judge my cooking i like coriander a lot yeah it's me who likes it like that yes then we start in a cut but oh well it's, it's supposed to be well distributed in the stew And then like we're done. We are done. We are done cooking guys. Yeah, that's my stew. Let me serve it on the plate. See my stew. Look at that. This stew would be so sweet. With rice, even with ugali. But it has some soup, so prefer it with rice. That's my